<laughs> House representatives are proposing a bill uh, that would allow publicly funded hospitals to deny abortions to women who need it in order to save their lives. Okay, this is known um, as uh, the. They're calling it... Uh, Protect Life Act. Yeah, the Protect Life Act, right? And opponents are saying, no, this is more like the Let Women Die Act. Now, if a woman goes to the hospital, she's about to die, and she needs an abortion, and the doctors believe that that's the case, they are allowed to say, yeah, thanks, but no thanks, uh, go ahead and die. Like, in the past, at the very, very, very least, you have to get them to another hospital, right? Not anymore. Just uh, drop them off on the sidewalk and say, good luck to you, okay? Hey, you know, by the way, I'm doing this because I'm pro-life. I'm doing yeah. it because I'm pro-life, yeah. exactly. I'm going to let you die because you are trying to get an abortion to save your life. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's unbelievable. And look, thank God at this point it's just a proposal by the GOP. Hopefully it doesn't pass. Uh, but, I mean, they keep proposing these kinds of things, right? And it's happened throughout the country. You see it in, in different states. Women who uh, have miscarriages are being prosecuted in states like Oklahoma and Mississippi. And, and they don't care. This is inhumane. What we just talked about was inhumane. They, they don't care about humanity. They say that they're pro-life. They say that they believe in their religion. But they say that they want to do this for the good of the country. And they genuinely think they're doing this to save babies. But you're killing innocent people. If it goes through, and by the way, it's pro-life. I mean, as long as you don't mean women. Punishing women for miscarriages? They must have been guilty. It must have been their fault. I mean, that's in two of the states that Anna just mentioned. And in this particular case, oh, you're about to die? I'm a doctor. I don't give a damn. Okay, if, uh, because my priest has interpreted a 2,000-year-old book incorrectly, by the way, because it ne never says it's against abortion. In fact, there are two passages that are clearly pro-abortion in the Bible. But who cares, because of my priest's uh, misreading of a 2,000-year-old document, I'm going to let you die in the streets. Uh, but the Republicans let me, so it's okay. By the way, if you're a doctor and you're working in a hospital that's uh, publicly funded, then you shut your mouth and you do what you're supposed to do. If mm -hmm. you don't like that, then you go open up your own private practice and you do whatever the hell you want to do. Right. Uh, or you could be a plumber. Yeah, why are you a doctor if you're not interested in saving people's lives? If a woman needs the abortion to save her life, you have an obligation and a responsibility to do that. Okay, right. put your religion aside for a second. Yeah, and by the way, don't get us wrong. 99.9% .9 of doctors aren't going to do this. I mean, they're going to save the woman's life, right? We're talking about the 0.1% fundamentalist freaks. who are. And look, and if you don't want to do abortions, you're not a fundamentalist freak. I don't want people to misunderstand that either. A lady comes in not in an emergency situation, the first trimester, second trimester, whatever, you think, I don't, that's not, I, I don't want to do abortions, but I'll refer you to someone else. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, and I, I know doctors who don't like to do abortions. We're talking about the woman's about to die. Yes. She comes to you and you go, ah, I, not interested. Uh, so good luck to you. You have to be to a you. sick person to do that, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't even know how many times it'll happen, but just the fact that the Republicans want to make sure that it can happen is really grotesque.